This short demonstration will show you how to set up an 8940 GeoNet data logger in the Agent Software Program. GeoNet data loggers must be assigned to a project. Projects allow the user to organize data loggers into groups. To begin, create a project by clicking Add Project on the left side of the screen. Give the project a name and then a description if desired. Click Save to create the project. To add an 8940 data logger to a project, click on the project and then click Add Network. Type COM into the address field to open a list of active communication ports. Select the COM port the data logger is connected to. For help determining which COM port the data logger is using, please consult the Agent Instruction Manual. Next, click the Get Settings button, which will prompt Agent to attempt to connect to the data logger. Once the connection is successful, the serial number of the data logger will appear. The read interval setting controls how often the data logger will take sensor readings. Make sure the time zone is set correctly for the location of the data logger. Having the wrong time zone specified may result in missing data when viewing charts. Enter a name for the data logger and a description if desired. When finished editing these settings, click Save. Agent will automatically navigate to the logger screen. The last reading and battery level will populate once data has been downloaded from the logger. The current time must be sent to the data logger before it will begin taking readings. To set the time, navigate to the network settings screen. Then click the Set Time button. The logger will now begin collecting data. Please note that if the data logger batteries are removed, depleted or replaced, or if the power is cycled, the time must be sent to the logger before it will resume data collection. To download the data collected by the logger, select the project, then click the download arrow to begin downloading data. Automatic downloads can be set up if the user maintains an active USB connection to the data logger. For information on configuring automatic downloads, please refer to the Agent Instruction Manual. Sensors must be created inside the Agent Program to view the data collected by the data logger. After the sensors have been added to the logger, they can be added to a chart. Start by clicking on the data logger. Then click on the logger name, which is set as the serial number of the logger by default. Next, click Logger Settings. Multiple sensors can be used to add several channels of readings at once. Reading sensors display the data collected from vibrating wire gauges. Thermistor sensors display data collected from a thermistor, including built-in thermistors and thermistor strings. For data loggers reading MEMS tilt sensors, the reading and thermistor sensors will be replaced with sensors for angle and deflection. Logger sensors display the data collected by the internal sensors of the data logger. For this demonstration, we will set up a reading sensor for a vibrating wire gauge. Start by entering the serial number of the sensor. Click the Get Calibrations button to retrieve the calibration factors and other pertinent information about the sensor from Geocon's online calibration database. This feature is compatible with most sensors manufactured after 2016. For multi-channel loggers, the Type field is used to select the channel the sensor is wired into. For addressable loggers, the type field is used to select the position of the sensor in the string. The category indicates what type of measurement the sensor is taking. The calibration units must match the engineering unit of the gauge factor taken from the calibration report. 
the output units determine what unit of measurement will be used to display the data on charts. The multiplier field is automatically populated by agent with the factor needed to convert the calibration unit of the sensor to the user selected output unit. The offset is an optional constant that can be added to the sensor output to adjust the data. The description and note field can be filled in at the user's discretion. The start and end dates determine the date range of the data displayed on charts. The start date should be set to the day the sensor was installed. The end date should only be entered if the sensor is removed from the logger. Use the Choose Color drop-down to select the color that will represent the sensor data when viewed on charts. If the gauge factor was not already downloaded from Geocon's online database, enter the linear gauge factor from the calibration report provided with the sensor. Make sure the calibration units selected in agent match the engineering units of the gauge factor taken from the calibration report. Enter the initial zero reading that was taken on site with the vibrating wire sensor. If using the 8940 to collect the initial zero reading, Save the information entered into the form, then download the data from the data logger. Return to the sensor edit screen and click Pick Zero. Then select one of the readings taken from the data logger to use as the initial on-site zero reading. For greater accuracy, the polynomial equation can be used in place of the linear equation. For optimum accuracy, or if ambient temperature changes are large, a temperature correction can be applied. For more information on using the polynomial equation and temperature correction, please refer to the Agent Instruction Manual. When you have finished editing the reading sensor, click Save. Once the sensor has been added to a logger, it can then be added to a chart. To create a chart, click Chart Settings on the left side of the screen. Next, click Add Chart. Give the chart a name, and then click OK. To add sensors to a chart, click on the chart name, and then click Add Sensors. Only sensors that were previously added in the Data Logger Settings screen will be available to add to charts. Select the sensors you wish to add to the chart, and then click OK. The sensor data can now be viewed by clicking View Charts. For more information on using Model 8940 GeoNet data loggers with Agent Software, please consult the GeoNet Instruction Manual or view the other tutorials available on our website.